Welcome back to another episode of the Hollow Core. Today's file, Artifact Weapons of the Guardians of Tirisfall. Although the Guardians of Tirisfall each wielded legendary weapons during their time, one of the most famous weapons belongs to an equally famous guardian. Aladai, the first of the Tirisfall Guardians, wielded the staff known as Ebonchil, whose power became more advanced over time. The staff had been left with a young Aladai when his parents left him at an orphanage for magically gifted children in Dalaran. Ebonchil had been imbued with icy enchantments before Aladai came into possession of it, which furthered the young mage's interest in frost magic. Aladai would grow up to become an extraordinarily powerful mage, and upon his ascension to Guardian, he would combat the dreadlord Catherine Atir and banish him from Azeroth. Just as Aladai's power grew from the magics of the staff, so too did the staff's potential as he imbued and wove his own powers deep within the weapon, leaving behind a fraction of the Guardian's abilities. Ebonchil would eventually be passed down to a student of Aladai, which would start the long tradition of bequeathing the Guardian's staff from master to pupil over the course of hundreds of years. The staff would wind up in the hands of a mage named Arexis, who would become the last known mortal wielder of Ebonchil. Records state that Arax has brought a group of young apprentices to the hills just outside Karazad, where they practice complex warding spells in the shadow of the magical tower. Some reports say that the Guardian Medivh himself emerged from the tower, offering the Master Mage and his pupils advice on their spells. Thrilled at the opportunity to learn from the Guardian, Arax has heeded Medivh's advice and attempted to cast a warding spell to protect against demonic magics. Due to the close proximity of Karazad and the dark intentions of the corrupted Guardian, the ritual Arixus and his pupils conducted went horribly wrong. Their magic tore up in a seeming reality and yanked them through, screaming into the twisting nether, where they were set upon by demons in a brutal slaughter. The demon who led the attack was an Eridar by the name of Baladur, who took the first Guardian's staff as a trophy, thus ending the ancient tradition of passing Ebonchil from master to apprentice. Aluneth, a name rarely mentioned in the arcane tomes and scrolls of lore in the great libraries of Azeroth, is both a weapon and a being of terrifying power. Discovered in the ancient days of Kalimdor by the magic-wielding Blue Dragonflight, this arcane entity was summoned from another plane of existence and brought to Azeroth where the dragons could study its immense power. Although it had been sent back to its own realm, Knowledge of this power would reach the ears of a highborn sorcerer named Mitra, who had learned to harness the power of Aluneth without summoning its volatile form into Azeroth. Mitra enhanced his arcane prowess tenfold with Aluneth's power, and would go on to forever change the field of arcane magic as a subject of study. Long after his death, his scrolls would become popular tools of learning in the field of magical education, and it was one of these scrolls that lured the curious mind of a young student by the name of Egwin. Her interest in the scrolls of Mitra led her to the discovery of Aluneth, who had been forgotten over the ages. Although a gifted mage, Egwin struggled and wrestled with Aluneth's power, eventually binding its potent essence into a great staff. The staff radiated with the entity's power, and it would take many years for Egwin to master the arcane energies of Aluneth. Even during her legendary battle against the Avatar of Sargeras, Aluneth proved uncontrollable, forcing the Guardian to toss aside the enchanted staff in favor of a different staff by the name of Atiesh. Following her victory over the Avatar of Sargeras, Aegwin dedicated her time to harnessing the staff's power, and eventually became a master of its raw magical life force. Years later, after her son Medivh had betrayed the world of Azeroth and brought war and ruin to its kingdoms, Aegwin confronted him, resulting in a destructive duel of deadly proportions. Medivh and Atiesh clashed with Aegwin and Aluneth, and despite the arcane entity's power, Aegwin was forced to retreat, narrowly escaping death at the hands of her son. Aegwin would retreat into solitude, tormented by the corruption of her son and the role she had played in it. In order to ensure no one would misuse its power, Aegwin would entrust the great staff of Aluneth to the Kirin Tor, who would have it hidden away within a magical vault, watched over by the very same beings who had first called the arcane entity into Azeroth. 